When I walk into the classroom each morning, my goal is to have a positive impact. I love the challenge and I love seeing the potential in all kids. I chose to work in special education because I, I have a passion for working with children to begin with, but I feel like I was called to work with kids who have special needs. Year after year, some of my hardest working, most resilient students were my special education students. I would look around the room and I would realize, you know, despite struggles the kids had, um, they didn't just give in to those disabilities that they faced. Instead, they would accept my help, they would work harder. Um, in order to be successful as a special education teacher, the one skill that you absolutely have to have is patience. Um, you have to have patience in the fact that you can teach something on Monday and feel very confident and come back on Tuesday, and you have to reteach it. Every kid is different, and teaching, you know, one lesson four different ways um, to four different students is challenging and really teaches me how to be flexible and um, adaptable and um, be creative. What keeps me coming back is knowing that the students rely on me being there every day. I'm the consistent part of their life in a lot of situations. Oh, I love this job. Uh, bad, there's never a bad day. It might be a bad day for two minutes and then something great happens. Uh, this is the school where I want to serve. This is the place that I, I enjoy the cultures, I enjoy the challenges, um, and I enjoy the students. They're resilient, they're passionate, they're kind, um, and the staff is, is wonderful. I don't, I don't think there's a day that goes by that the special ed staff isn't working overtime on behalf of the kids. Well, I think my SPED team does something outstanding every single day. I think they are just amazing people. They put students first, they're willing to go above and beyond, and they're always looking out for not only our special education students at Halbert in District 11, but they're looking out for all of our students. So the most rewarding part of being a speech pathologist, honestly, is when the kids don't need me anymore. Um, it's really exciting to see um, when a student has closed the gap and be able to celebrate with their parents. I feel awesome when a kid makes a breakthrough. Um, when the light comes on in their head, it, that's pretty much what I work for, is um, to help them understand, oh, I feel ecstatic when they make a breakthrough in their learning. I just, yeah, it makes my day. It's, um, I can't describe it. It's just, you just feel great. You know, it's, at the end of the day, it's more than just academics. It's growing and teaching students about collaborating with other people, teaching them how to um, articulate well and be successful public figures. D11 is about the student first. It's home. And it's caring. D11 is students, community, and tradition.